and welcome to the Tradition Tour. You know, a lot of people, when they look for a spring break destination, they go south, maybe Florida, Mexico, but an often overlooked area is the sunny shores of Lake Superior. We're here today, it's January, beautiful outside, a nice warm breeze is coming off the lake, and we're gonna try to catch some pout. I'm excited, it should be a fun night. Let's get after it. Going up there, we're gonna meet up with Will Stolsky and a guest host along with Jaren. This should be super fun. I have really no idea right now what we're gonna be doing in terms of a bite and all that. We'll clue you in in a bit. But one thing I do know is I have no pout lures or anything. So we are gonna go swing into Gander Mountain quick and grab a couple things, and then we will be due north to slam some pout. Stay tuned. Team Yukon Outdoors is proudly presented by Clam, Bexlar, DH Custom Rods, Gander Mountain, Ice Armor by Clam, K-Drill Ice Augers, Recycled Fish, and Bait Runner Ice Rods. All right, guys, we made it. We're in Northwest Wisconsin now, up at Lake Superior, fishing a tributary. And we met up with Will, guest host Kyler, and Jared Houston, guide team. You want to say a bit about what we're going to be doing today? Yeah, I'm fishing with our two guides, Stewie here and Sherpa on the end there. Uh, it's a special time of year. We get the burbot fight coming. They're coming in to spawn. Males were here about a week ago, so the females have showed up. They're starting to die off. So right now we got to be here because it only lasts a special time of year, and then they're back into Lake Superior. So yes, sir. All right. Nocturnal well, fishing. We got to go get set up. As you can maybe tell, the wind's blowing pretty hard, but we got to get set up, hunkered down, and ready for these fish to come through at night. Pout! So we need to pop some holes with the K-Drill. We're on current now, yeah. what you were telling me. What do I need to do to make sure we can actually? Well, fish? we want to do what we call a snowman or a figure eight hole, and that's our jigging hole. And we want to do a transducer hole away from those. Um, two things, the transducer hole is just for the transducer only, and the figure eight hole is for the jigging hole. So when you're reeling up these pout, uh, the tails usually come out first quite often and it keeps it from uh, getting tangled up in your transducer, and also you have more room to work the fish. Okay, so then we're putting the transducer hole on the downstream yeah, side. Cause, cause, right? Yeah, we're on the downstream side because your lure is gonna go like this, you okay. know, angled out. Yep. Sweet, all right, yep. let's get some of those drilled there. So when we're fishing eel pouts, and even walleyes, I like a nice heavy spoon. These are Inferno, Min Inferno minnows by Venom Floats, and there's a special way I like to do my minnow. I like to put it on here, just like a typical minnow right through the head kind of the hard part of the head and then i pinch off not the head i pinch off like half the body and now the best part is like popping like a pimple and getting all that gooey icky meaty stuff out there so it drains out of the back so it's got like it's like a steak and so it looks real dirty and then my hands full with guts and stuff and like what i do here is i rub that all over my spoon fish love that fish on fish on we're in business this one is coming in, this is a male. So these are the fish that come in earlier in the season. They come here before the females get here and they start staging. What will happen is the females will come following behind them. And three or four of these little guys will hover around a female and they'll make like a little ball and circle up and they'll spit milk and sperm all over and that's how they kind of plant their eggs. They are slimy. See how the milk oh, yeah, out of them? Oh yeah, milking all over the yep. place. So they are ferocious predators, that's for certain. I mean, they'll literally dig their heads in the shovel, shovel their heads in the ground and and uh, take out any Cretaceous stuff for... So what's really unique about fishing any river system, especially this one here in 
the Arrowhead region of Lake Superior, you know, the St. Louis River. It's this big, massive body of water, and it's very intimidating because people think, well, where the heck do you start? Well, you really got to break it down into sections and start wherever you want. It's, it's shallow. I mean, it's not like you look at this big water and you think that it's deep, but actually the big percentage of the water is really shallow. And typically this time of year, you know, this is the pulp bite, but this ain't the norm. You know, this is where you go for walleyes. You catch walleyes here. Right. And it's just just so happens to be at this time of year right now in the powder end, the walleyes, I mean, yes, there's a few around, the ones that we call them the survivors, but especially at nighttime, I mean, they kind of disappear, and I would too because this big bully called the burbot comes into the river system and it eats everything in its path. So they are just hiding, you know, wherever behind rocks or sticking their bellies in muds and holding still and letting those those feeding burbot uh, do whatever they want. So the burbot in here to spawn, but they never, and I mean never, stop, make no mistake, they never stop eating. You want me to grab your deuce? Yeah, you're going to have to. Yeah. Feel like a little better one? Uh, no, no. You know, the thing about a pout is it's its back straps. This is the editable part. You don't want to knock the sides off like you would a crappie or a walleye because you open up this stuff and you got a lot of icky stuff that you don't want all over your, you know, food. So you want to just take the back strap, similar to a deer, the tenderloins, this area right here. And what we'll do is we'll cut them out and we'll just dice them up into cubes. We'll literally boil Mountain Dew and and uh, we'll straight, put them in the Mountain Dew, strain them, we'll salt them, lightly salt them with Lowry salt, and then take a toothpick and pick at them and dip them in, dip them in uh, butter and eat them. And it, there again, it's poor man's lobster. Oh, I'm burning my leg off here. Oh, that's a good one, too. Oh. Oh. Woo! I got it. Got it? Look at that, huh? And that is an eel pout. <laughs> Dude, that's a good one, too. That nice is a big, nice fish. fish. And they try to absolutely. absolutely try to uh, wrap up my arm every time, too. <laughs> <laughs> Just jigging, I mean, I didn't even mark that fish, to be completely honest. I was staring at his screen because he was marking a fish, and it might have just came over and destroyed mine. But hooked right in the top of the mouth. Give a good thwack there, right? Yeah, very oh. much so. All right, um, so we're out here. We're all set up. Winds calmed down. These fish are moving. I've missed a couple so far. Adam just hammered one that was sitting on my screen for about two or three minutes. So, uh, <laughs> you know, still keep marking fish, and, uh, you know, we're going to get after it here. Hopefully not too distracted and I don't miss anymore. I think the good luck is your cup of joe. Whenever he's yeah, having I, a good cup yeah, of well, joe, we're marking Hey, did you fish. get a cup of joe yet? Very lucky joe's poured and... No! I'm gonna puke! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I set the hook! Yeah, you did. I don't know about that. Am I a better fisherman than Will Stolsky? Yeah, hands down. <laughs> Absolutely, no question about it. Keep my name out of your mouth, Rex. You don't talk about my family. Helping out my friends. Yep. Another one. I've never heard you laugh like that. Fish! Fish! Woo! Oh, 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 good oh, one. Oh! oh. oh, oh. oh. What do you think, Jerry? Is this another male or is this be? That's a female for sure. Female for sure, yeah. Yep. 
Yep, she got a pop belly on her. She's Oof. ready to do her, Boy. Do her business. Good job. Just a, just, just a typical eel pot, you know? Just, I, mean, I know. Everything. <laughs> Hook it in that hole, it's coming out of that one, but hey, we got her out. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, not a bad one. No, good fish. Yeah. Sure. Better than outside, right? Better than sitting in the wind, you putts. There's yeah. another one. <laughs> Three in a row for the kid. He's got the fever, baby. <laughs> What can I say? Bird fever. You felt the slime and you just oh want the slime. Gosh, I just can't stop. That's a good one. I'm gonna get the skeeter out of the way. Oh, he's We're ready to go. <laughs> he's ready to go. Oh, a lot of fun. <laughs> Absolutely. Back to the resource. Just got my uh, third one here in about 25 30 minutes. Using a clam rattling blade spoon here. Not sure if it's the color. Or what it is but they're just hammering these coming in hot haven't really been marking them at all but they seem to be coming in quick and just hitting it no problem yeah. so fish eel pout burbot ling cod are freshwater species of uh cod and biology tells us that they're the earliest spawning fish there is in the you know the lower 48 for sure and where we are here in this ice belt area of northern Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, they are the earliest spawning fish out of all the fish we have. So they literally spawn underneath the ice, anywhere from two feet of water to 20 feet of water over gravel areas, you know, would be ideal for them. But uh, they, uh, I can't think of a burbot bite anywhere else that they spawn earlier than the, these ones do here. Quite the ordeal. Fish on. You know what? I lied. That doesn't look like a fish, does it? Wow, did I get excited there. That's, this is amateur hour, clearly. This will not eat well. Back down, back to the resource. Oh, there's a fish right there in the graph. Wow, oh, coming up. He's gonna eat. Yep. That's what we're talking about right there, bro. That was just like clockwork. That was, I mean, this one was scripted. Uh huh. That was sure. textbook. Came yeah, right textbook. off the bottom. Yep. Oh, yeah. Is she coming up head first? Yeah. Nope. She wanted to come up head first, and then she didn't want it. And then she didn't. And then she didn't. And then, oh boy. Oh boy. It's just. an angry burp. Just violent head shakes on these things. Their whole body, you know, it's not even a head shake, it's a body right. shake. It's tail, it's nothing but pure muscle on these voracious, ferocious fish. Oh, nice one. Climb on out of there. Yeah, there. there you go. Now, does that look ugly or what? <laughs> Want to give her, this one a kiss? Want to give it a kiss, Will? Mm, as appetizing as it sounds. Come on, do it. That's, that's it's perfect. Sounds... Give it one. <laughs> just do it. It's right there. Just a little one. Just a peck. Okay, I'll just give it a. I'll give it a little just, little peck. I'm, I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna close. I'm gonna close my eyes. She's little... waiting for this all night. <laughs> ah, Burbit. Burbit. <laughs> nice. Well, I mean, this might be the cap to a really awesome night we've had out here. Um, all the guys have caught fish. Jared's been putting on a clinic. Uh, you know, we really appreciate the invite from Jared to come up here. Like I said earlier, this is something that I probably would have never experienced a, a eel pout bite like this up in this area. So, I mean, it was really cool. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's a fish that is real underrated and, and not a lot of pressure on. And I encourage anybody, if they get the chance to go eel pout fishing, to get out in the water and try it. Yeah. It's something different. When you're on them, it can be a dynamite fishing experience. So yeah, we appreciate you guys coming up and sharing sharing the day with us for sure. All right, we're kind of getting close to wrapping things up here and we just wanted to take the time to say uh, thanks to Will for bringing a great uh, guest host 
this week with Kyler. And I don't know, you got a few things you want to say? Yeah, thanks to Adam and the boys, Will and Solby back there for enduring the elements out there. It was a pretty brutal one tonight with the wind. Uh, and uh, Jared and his boys, it's a great time out here. Unreal first pouting experience. And, uh, you know, I was able to hammer a few fish. So it was a great one. Yeah, definitely. And to thank you also for coming out, we're going to give you a Gander Mountain gift card. Awesome. So if you want to go get some of the stuff we use today, Absolutely. you can do that. And if you guys have any questions about any of the products we use, feel free to ask questions. We'll also have links in the description to be able to help you guys out. Aloha again. If you have any questions about our tropical night and pelt paradise, feel free to shoot us a message. Make sure to like our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Mahalo. Gross. <laughs> Tradition.